Good Wednesday evening, Southeast Texas. More rain, unfortunately, in the forecast right on through the end of the week and on into uh, Saturday. Uh, tonight looks like a marginal, or I should say, a slight to moderate risk of flash flooding across the area. And similar story coming up on uh, Thursday. So a little change in the forecast as we will continue to see rounds or intervals of rain on and off across the area. Flash flood watch in effect through tonight and through tomorrow across southeast Texas. As far as rainfall, since last night's line of shower and thunderstorm activity, most areas seeing anywhere from about uh, oh, one to two inches of rainfall. Some areas, as you see up towards uh, northern Tyler County, picking up closer to four inches, but most areas seeing about an inch or two overnight across the area. And I think that's gonna be the case coming up tonight. Why? We're gonna see showers and storms currently out in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll be watching, this is the moisture levels, okay? We saw a decrease in moisture levels over our area this afternoon because of that complex of storms that moved through last night. It stabilized the atmosphere. Now the flow is gonna be up out of the Gulf of Mexico overnight and see how that surge comes back in. We go up the scale from about here earlier to higher amounts of moisture moving back into the area over uh, this evening and overnight. Then we may get a break in the morning before more moisture comes in and that may enhance rainfall as we head towards tomorrow afternoon. Friday is becoming more con uh, concerning in my opinion. We get quite a surge of tropical moisture in from the Caribbean. This is the Caribbean connection. That moisture is coming like a fire hose right into uh, Louisiana and Texas as we see much drier air off towards our east. Going to be creating quite a gradient and with upper level low pressure off towards uh, say central and south Texas, that gradient is going to produce uh, the potential for heavy, heavy rainfall, maybe some flooding, unfortunately, the way it looks at this point with those southeasterly winds blowing in all the way from the Caribbean on into uh, Louisiana and uh, also southeast Texas. Again, this is the day to watch before things start improving as we work through, uh, say, Saturday into Sunday. So again, it's low pressure up and towards the Texas panhandle. And if you follow the clouds, the flow is out of the south off the Gulf of Mexico there and also out of west texas everything comes up like this so the flow is trying to bring back that moisture and thunderstorm activity out of the gulf of mexico into our area later tonight the question is we have stabilized because of the thunderstorm activity we saw last night and this morning it really has uh, uh, wrung out the atmosphere however with this flow now changing direction and coming in off the gulf of mexico um, probably what's going to happen is we won't see this torrential rainfall they're seeing in the northwest Gulf of Mexico it may come in in a weakened fashion. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now because we don't have a lot of instability. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I'm hoping for la tonight. So maybe an inch, maybe two. I don't think it's going to be any more than that. We'll see. Let me show you what Futurecast is showing. So right now it's a little bit overactive, but after that it does show... Uh, rain's picking up late tonight and a band going through uh, overnight into the wee hours of the morning. Then we get a break towards tomorrow morning through the morning hours for the most part. Then as we head towards, say, mid to late afternoon hours, remember with that next surge, rain chances go back up and it looks like likely rain's coming up late tomorrow afternoon and evening. At least that's the story, things, the way things look at this point. So on the Gulf of Mexico, choppy to rough seas on the Gulf tomorrow around three to five feet. The southeast wind is expected at 15 to 20 knots. A small craft advisory in effect. So tonight, 60, 70 percent coverage of showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two. Heavy rainfall does not look likely, but it's possible. Yeah, I'm hedging my bets because I'm uncertain about how uh, that moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico will interact with our stabilized atmosphere. So it may not be that bad. Tomorrow, though, is a different story. I think there is going to be the potential for heavy rainfall developing late in the afternoon and evening. We'll go with an 80% coverage and a red bar day. Friday is the day to watch. I'm not saying it's going to be like Monday, but there are a lot of things that look like Monday as far as the modeling. So uh, that, in my opinion, at this point, is the day we're going to have to watch 
uh, before things start improving Saturday. Yes, I've had, I had to improve or increase my rain chances for Saturday, but still, um, after that, it looks like finally things start drying out for Sunday, and then the first half of next week, uh, the sun comes back, it looks mainly dry, warm, and humid across the area. So again, I think we're okay through tonight in southeast Texas. It's Friday. We're really going to have to watch before things start improving uh, through the weekend. Download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.